All right, well, we're back. It's a beautiful uh, winter's day here in the Mojave Desert. The winds have just kicked up. You know, I got to the field and there really wasn't much wind at all. And of course now it's going like gangbusters. It's coming out of basically the way we're faced here. We got a battery in her, we got her all charged up, ready to go. So uh we're gonna see if I can thread the needle on takeoff. How many of you wanna bet? Say hey man, just wing it. That guy always blow V8s. Boy, I hope he stuffs his model. How much how much do you guys think I'm gonna stuff my model? into that pole there, huh? Bet you're hoping for it. We'll see. Maybe I can give you a show, huh? And then maybe not. Sorry to disappoint you. Sorry to disappoint you. Maybe next time. All right, we're gonna fly. A little windy, so my maneuvers aren't gonna be very smooth. Which really kind of aggravates me. I like flying in a scale manner, so to me, you know, smooth and fluid and graceful. I mean, I, I just, I just eat stuff like that up. <laughs> I mean, I really do. But, but hey, it is what it is, and uh, I'll take stick time any day over not flying. So, any day over not flying. So we're, we're just flying or just going to do a little free flying. Uh, <clears throat> we just had a battle this morning and the battle's over. So I got a couple hours to come out here and kind of play around. And I got to go back in around 1530 for you military types and uh, go back to work. Training units. It's what we do at the NTC. All right. Oh, and, and fly carbon cubs. Doesn't that thing just fly cool? I'm going to try and keep her out of the sun. Again, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what? Let me work the uh, pond here. Let me work the pond. I got about six minutes left on this battery, so let me uh, work the pond here. That way I can do some maneuvers and you're not going to see her up in the, up in the sun. So let's, let's, let's work the pond a little bit. I kind of like working the pond anyways, because it's, I don't know why. Because <laughs> if, if I put her in the drink, that would really stink. It's like, oh man, you know, so anyway. Anyway, let's just have some fun over here with the carbon cub and uh, on a little bit windy day. The winds can actually help, because I can, I can give her some throttle and this thing just like climbs for like ever. <laughs> so. So we're just gonna fly her nice and scale. That was a pretty decent scale loop, I don't think. Uh, I wouldn't lose any sleep over that one, I think. That was pretty good. But uh, I try really, really, really hard to fly all my models in a scale manner, they so already said during this video. So, uh, you know, all my maneuvers, I try very hard for them to look. Just like a real carbon cub, you know, if, if, if a carbon cub were out here putting on a little air show for me, then, uh, then that's what I want it to look like. I want it to look like a carbon cub out here putting on an air show. So, so there we are. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fun, fun, fun. All right. Uh, I can keep her low out here. And uh, I can bring her in. I hope it's not the sun. It might be. I'm gonna try and look down here a little bit. I don't know. It's hard. When I got a hat cam, I have the official, I have the official just wing it hat cam going on here. So uh, I don't know. You know, I don't know what I'm capturing on video right now. <laughs> Hopefully, I captured an aileron roll. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, we're just having fun. Uh, I've already flown three batteries through her. And uh, this is obviously number quattro, and uh, just having fun, just really having fun. I got about four minutes left on this one. After uh, my 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 excellent adventure with the uh, with the uh, 17 mile an hour winds, 
I now feel very comfortable in flying this model, even if there's a little wind, because I know I can land her out in the uh, driving range. Well, at least I did the one time, anyways, and I know that, uh, and I know that her big old Tundra tires are enough to do the job, or some of the pretty big rocks. Let's do a uh, let's do a reverse half cube in here. So we're gonna bring her up, flip her on over on her back, throttle down very very slowly and controlled, and just mo and just manage that uh, elevator on your way down. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. That one was pretty good because the up line and the down line ended in about the same uh, the same direction. And as I've said earlier in a, in a video. Uh, the up lines and the down lines do not need to start and stop at the same altitude, by the way, like to do with a, a loop, but they do have to start and stop at the same general direction. That's how a reverse half cuban, or even actually a, 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 uh, a half cuban eight is, is judged. So I always try to make sure that I do that well. I don't always do it well, but I try. <laughs> That's trying is half the battle. All right. Y'all are going, doesn't this guy ever shut up? Actually, some of you are. I'm sure some of you are probably going, man, just wing it. Keep just winging it, brother. Keep just winging it. So I'm just winging it, man. Just winging it. Okay, those turns with the cub, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and germs, uh, you got to be really careful with the cub. I'm you probably heard it, but I'm managing the throttle quite a bit. Uh, I said in an earlier video, my, my just blown away, my blown away video, be careful with turning a cub uh, at low speed. And the way I get around that, I don't get around it with flaps. That's like, you could like, that's a recipe for a stall. <laughs> Not a stall, a stall. Okay, let's do a loop. So uh, that's a recipe for a, a stall. So... Uh, yeah, rats. I ended that one higher than I started it. It's okay. Uh, so you manage your, your, your low speed turning with a cub with your throttle. And you basically, with the carbon cub, you're flying both the wing and the prop, really, because this is a smaller winged cub. It's a smaller wing uh, of the cub family. <laughs> doesn't have the, the wing area of a true uh, J3, okay? A little bit shorter in wing. But, uh, and the J3, by the way, flies more or less on the wing, really. Uh, you know, with, with 50, with a whopping 50 horse under the cowl, it's kind of hard not to, right? So you're really, you're really doing a lot of, uh, we're going to try another loop here just to see if I can not do this one so badly. All right, it's a lot better. <laughs> I'll take that one. Um, so anyway, so there it is. Oh, look. It's time to land. It always happens. I've been gabbing away, and it's time to land. So here we go. All right, this is going to be an interesting approach this time, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in that the winds are really at my back, right? So, well, for the most part. So I'm going to bring her in. All right, that worked. I had a little bit of a, I had a little bit of a flippy floppy going on there, but I was also running flaps for those of you who were astute and saw it. So about, you know, 30% or so. So there we are. All right, well, hey, thanks for uh, putting up with me gabbing away while I'm flying my carbon cub, but I like bringing you along for the adventure, so hey. I hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy your carbon cub. We'll see you next time.